Hello, and welcome to my first look here at Car Manufacturer uh, during the Steam Next Fest here. So this is going back to early cars, so... Um, basically, we're uh, supposed to make a perfect race car. I don't know. Okay, we have to be Detroit, and so... logos maybe this here we go so this is kind of a little scenario they have you running um if they meant it to have a scenario and objective since I, I played it once before just to have a feel for the game so when i do this i can do this um efficiently it doesn't feel that way but that that's that's a different issue um so it's 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 got its it's got its qualities and it's got its drawbacks, but um, you know, th there's th there's something going on, you know. All right, the first thing we do, come to pause here. So this is our build area. It's not going to expand on the demo. Um, so here's kind of our main gate. Now the most important thing to realize is that that's the market. That is where all our supplies are coming from. So they all come in and come in through that gate right there. Because they're not del being delivered by truck, they're being delivered by train, and then hand uh, kind of sent. So uh, obviously, you know, that'll be a bit harder because our you know, factory size is So what I'm gonna do here is, since this is the construction mode where you can actually change things and build things, Other nice thing is that you can expand this building later. But I think we're gonna make a nice building here. I'm gonna run it like that. Alright. Now I also want to put doors, so I'm gonna put a nice big set of double doors right there. And different than doors. There's R and D, which are slightly separate. So the research, you don't have to have research facilities for. You can just do it. You just pay a little bit of money and it starts working. You see there, we do that. We come back in. We go back in here. We now need to um, essentially come and... Uh, so we've, we've got that. Transportation. Belts. Okay, so there we go. So that will be built there, come off the line. We need to create a storage area. So, what we're going to do here is going to create a storage area that's that big, that big. So, we want to create a storage area like that. And I just want to put some pallets here because you need pallets. I don't think anything requires a shelf. on this if you want to do anything you have to go over to operating mode you have to say okay what we are doing we're gonna select this jacket three and so there so all the stuff for there has to come into there which is okay good I've got production line I actually want to get more production line unlocked so that production line is like that now if you come here into construction Let's say I come 
here is what I did is what I was researching is the ability to link two of these stations together to get more of an assembly line. Four between. That way there's a place for a car to rest in between the two stations. That way the station can be clear while the next one comes in. And voila! Now those are essentially linked. And I want to create a new transport or a new um, essentially cargo bay for them. Come here. And we're gonna start building. Necessarily need more stations, but I need that. Okay. Up here, up to this transportation, and just go control, and delete. If I have actually enough space, if I'm going to make a four and a top, there we go. I'm going to make a nice production line because I want to get production lines linked. Standard nine pallets. Space there. We're also going to do standard nine pallets in space. And hopefully that will make things uh, work better there. Have my sound coming out of the wrong thing there. Fix my sound. I felt it not coming in the right way. Alright, let's see. There we go. Hopefully that should handle it. Alright, go back to our transportation links, and all of these need to be linked up. Okay, Ooh, fun to bar. Good. And I should go into my research now, and that's there. Now, another thing this game has to come along is I can still build a research zone even though I don't have it unlocked. And I can still build like sales couches and the like without having it unlocked. And there is, there's no enforcers in the game yet. So a lot of this tech tree is just like not actually doing anything at this point. Um, it's just letting you do things. I'm essentially trying to do it to be there. I mean, Actually experiencing a functioning tech tree may uh, do that. All right, so this is all there. So you see this is where the stations run. So now I need to hire people. I need to hire haulers. And I'm going to hire um, a good number of them here. And the basic reason is that they have got to run. I'm going to hire two per station. I need to hire some mechanics. Hire five mechanics. Hire two. Okay. So the haulers, as you can kind of see, come here. They come grabbing stuff out of this train. They start stocking boxes. I need to put other doors in this thing. 
That's what I need to do. Easy enough. Come down here. Door. Door. There we go. It can also go, go out of these things. All right. Now what I need to do is I need to make a parking area. A parking area is important. So that's where you're going to essentially um, sell your cars from. All right. So parked with rain. Is there a difference in cost here? $10, $1. Okay, we need a little more parking here. So, again, easy enough to resize. Pull it up there. We'll go ahead and spend $10 to have nice rain protection. And there we go. Perfect. Okay, so we have a place to park cars. When they come off the line, they can go and they can sit in there. Now what we need to do is we need a, a building for the salesman to operate in. You know what? They're going to get this nice Greco-Roman building. It's going to look like that. And we're going to come down. We're going to have a nice door for them. Right here by the gate. And we'll also put a nice door over that way. Now as we go into the sales area, we're going to make a very... It's going to be a pretty decently sized sales area. And then, well, again, I normally can't do it because research hasn't been unlocked, but, you know. Um, I'm also making a little bit of research area here. And, essentially, okay, legal collisions, there we go. The reason I want to put a um, research area is because people like to rest. They don't have, like, staff buildings or anything in yet. So these research couches going to be in research areas so at least for my sales force to sit when they aren't working so they won't go to the sales building and other workers will come in and do it too but either way we essentially need to have a location for our sales per people to operate there we go we got them a bunch of cow like that and um so we've already got people coming in who want to buy cars. Give them some couches to sit on. Um, and we're going to put a... Uh, increase the chance of sale. We'll put some shelves in there. Alright. That means we need to hire someone. We need to hire someone to sale the cars. We want someone with very good charisma. You. So we will hire you. Well, we only need one salesman to begin with. He will operate our, our sales force here. Cars are being built. We don't have any in there yet, but you see the cars are being there and being built. We probably need a few more mechanics. Let's hire you, 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 and you. We'll just hire a bunch of mechanics. We're gonna hire a few more haulers too. Alright. There we go. They're bringing stuff in. Ooh, you've got good stats. I'm just going to hire you. All right. So we've got hire them. They're working on the line. See, this one is ready to go to this next station. I want to leave a little bit of space between them. So there's basically a space for this car to rest while people can start working on the next one. See, this line is moving along. Come to the research here. We'll increase the time a client's wait for a sale because we still have to get them stuff. Our money's going down, but, you know, so be it. We are building cars. Got plenty of room in our storage areas. Building is happening just fine. Now, the members of the team can just walk across these ways here and work on them. That may not be true in the future, as in this mode they've put in the ability to do stairs, but... There, once you put there, there's nothing more for them to do. So I have no idea if there's going to be anything more. But anyway, there we go. Um, these are operating fairly good. 
coming in, cars being built, cars going out. See, this one's come off the line. This is our first car to sell. Got a gentleman waiting to buy the car. So as soon as it gets to the line there, someone will drive it. They'll put it in a parking spot. Speaking of which, I think I want one more door. See, it's now ready to be sold. And we're going to create a nice little showroom feature here. Two of them. So, normally we couldn't even have one. I need to switch over to this mode. And ta-da! We'll show off the model car. You can also do advertising with it and the like. There we go. We essentially have... He sold the car, comes over here, this customer comes, he buys it, and he drives off the lot, and we've made money. Here comes out another car, very good. Now we're rolling out cars. There's stuff to do. Now that we're making a bit of profit, well, we only have one car that we can build currently. That's not that exciting. You know, the salesman is selling it, but we we want to design multiple types of cars. So I'm going to build another small building. Build a basic brick building here, right here. And this is going to be my little research building. And it's only going to need one set of double doors. It's just going to be a research center. That's all it's going to be. Maybe even a little big for what we need it for, but you know, it looks nice. What we're going to do is right here. This is the main research. We're going to put ourselves a work desk. Ellie Machine later will add another one when we need to hire more scientists. Again, we want scientists to have a place to relax. We're going to do couches right there. Okay. Now we're going to come back over here and we're going to hire ourselves one scientist. We want big brain power. You've got big brain power. There you go. You are a scientist. We come here and we say, what product do you want to research? We want you to come up with a completely new type of car. People are coming off the line here. Why is no one getting to work? There's no one. We are ready to sell and build more cars. Someone come in with a chassis. Why is no one going and running and grabbing Essentially, someone should come out here and come grab another chassis. I mean, sometimes what happens is, like, you have to reselect the blueprint to get everything operating again. Like, oh, everyone's like, now we need to go get, uh, there they go, they're going and grabbing stuff again. That's just annoying. A little bug. Right? They're working on designing something here. Go back into the research area. We'll now make a, the ability to get a research zone. And I'm going to offer that at a slightly higher price. We'll make a bit more money per car. Be a bit harder to sell, but you know... I trust our uh, our team to be able to do some good stuff. All right, I'm just going to crank it up to super speed here. There we go. We finally have another chassis running. Finally, things for people to do. 
get that built onto the next line. Be another chassis that's coming out. Be built. There we go. Keep it running. Keep the production line running. That's what we want to see. There we go. Keep it getting built. Keep those parts moving. All right. Okay, it looks like our crack t scientist has finished a new project. He's finished the classic T-type. We come in here. So we've now essentially designed it out on the board. He's now figuring out how we can factory make it. So you have to discover something. You know, like this is the design that could work, and now they're uh, making that design a reality. Um, modeling stations, which technically I don't <laughs> shouldn't have access to yet, but we're you know just working it right there. All right, more cars coming out. Car there. Happy customer. Happy customer. There we go. Just as soon as that happened, we're rolling out another car. Salesman is now selling it. Another car is getting ready. And now we have an assembly line working with got a team that's putting them together there we go profit is happening let's see anything else I can unlock marketing production like more linkages more conveyor speed research if we get some futuristic generation here marketing basically have the whole thing because again they're not really marketing it well all right advertisements we're not going to run advertisements yet not on these cheap cars we're just gonna build them We've... basically we can only sell them pretty much one at a time as soon as one comes off the line, you know, we're selling it. As soon as it's parked, we're, we're, we're selling those things. All right. Now, remember I said you can expand these buildings, so it has one spot to... So it's going to need essentially, I think I want to expand this building by three. I come here, I'm just going to drag one, two, three. Voila, building is larger. To come here to production. Actually, I didn't see that be that big. I can reverse that. One two, three, four. Person there. But, essentially come over. Where's gate? Come right here. Go. Now, I'm going to come, there we go, linking these things, transport. Now, you can curve these, I just line them up straight because it's simpler that way. There we go, and 
The reason I built these so big when I didn't need to is so I can link them to both sides. Essentially have this service two lines. Now I'm going to come over here, this line, I'm going to create this, and you can change the type, so instead of this like pink, we can make these blue. Let's just say. Now that I've done that, I'm going to need more haulers, so I'm going to grab another, I think up to 10 haulers here, Oop, one more. I definitely want more mechanics. There we go. And you're okay. We'll hire that one, one extra. We're going to hire one more person with Super Charisma to help sell our cars. So we now have two lines. And we'll change this over. Ta-da! And now that this is done, we go back to exploring new projects. So the first car may be of the color you, you know, the original color, because that's how it kind of works. But yeah, we've got people coming in. Maybe I didn't need this extra palette here, but, you know, better to have the space. Yeah, the first one's going to be red. Color doesn't seem to matter too much. Nor do collisions, but, you know, that's, that's the kind of thing. Now, what I've shown you here is basically the entire game where the demo stands at this now. Um, there, also there's the ability to take loans. Um, so if you kind of you know, want to see what you could do there, but I haven't found the need to take loan the game yet. Um, so there, there's, um, some interesting things going on here. Come up here, mark that up, and make a profit. There we go. So, essentially, as you see here, started with about 9,000. Now we have two things rolling off the line. Things are going. Things are not too complicated, is kind of the, the situation here. Um, as you can obviously see, this station requires a few more steps. Coming in here to negotiate. There we go. Money is coming in. I need a few more. There we go. That leaves. You can't do things like assign 10 mechanics per line, or if I wanted to assign, you know. There, so some of that management stuff, which I'm hoping is developing, and just other choices. Um, and charisma, it's obvious that charisma matters uh, for, you know, um, salesmen, brain power matters for scientists. Not really clear what mechanics need. Um, I assume haulers need a combination of speed and strength to carry and fast. Um, not really clear what mechanics super need, but you know. They're making these things. They're moving along the line here. See, we're making profit here. Making profit. More items are coming in. And as we keep getting new models, this will roll. Now, there's a kind of a popularity mechanic here. So. You know, it's, um, as you start putting more lines, you start selling more car cars, you'll be popular. Um, not clear what that does yet. Here's your objectives. Don't have any at the moment. Um, you no, know, we keep selling things. These cars keep sold, which is a good thing. All these generic gentleman buyers here. 
and they come in to want to buy something, but we, we can only produce so many cars. Selling them as soon as they come in, flying like hotcakes, keeping a good production line going. This is our simple model that we're producing more of. This is our more complicated model that we're taking a bit more time with. I think we need a few other mechanics here. We're decent. Got 26 of you guys now. There we go. This develop most recent thing. So that developed that. So because there was a we unlocked something at a five percent chance, go ahead of time. So you, they went and did that. So they're developing this uh, this thing here. So we now have a tier uh, three. I don't know how you move up tiers. It's not clear. Because it would make sense like, okay, if you move up a certain number of tiers, um, you know, you can only uh, you know, when you move up a tier, like, you, like people no longer want the old car. So eventually, like, these, like, I should no longer be able to produce these and have these sold. I'd have to, like, you know, get rid of them, but that's not how it's built in this game yet. Once this is... So we're now that we're making good cash, I'm going to hire myself another scientist. Got someone a bit better... Like, I've got you, who's here, happiness, incentive, energy, so like mods, intelligence, agility, strength. Again, we don't know which ones are there. Like, you are not worth considering. Dismissing some of them. No. Can I get anyone? Okay, there we go. Someone with a better brain. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to put another research desk in. And another milling station. In. There we go. The research desk not get in? There we go. Now, two of them working, they'll get that done faster. I think when this gets done, we'll uh, change that over. We'll change over this line. We'll just get rid of this model. And the main reason I want to do this is this model, I make about 200 something per one of those that goes out. Make about 400 something. Let's maybe knock up the price a bit on that. Then we're going to activate flyers. So spend $10 a week. And these flyers will uh, make up for the uh, demand there. A week. That all done. An awful lot. That's ready to drive away. One nice thing about this is we are quickly selling them. It does not take long to get these sold. We have got a very efficient production line going here. Quickly, quickly, quickly. 
Obviously, probably the more of them you can link, the faster you can link them. Let's see how things are. They're still working there. What else do we want? Uh, higher speed conveyors? Sure, why not? Doesn't really matter. There we go. Available. Okay, come on. Be able to select this. Research zone for a new project. Now, instead of producing this, we're going to change this over. We're going to do that. We're no longer going to do that. We're going to change this over to that. This slightly more complicated car design, but come here, this, we can make a lot more profit off. So that's my idea. Stop selling cheap jalopies, start selling more expensive, they'll do well enough as is. Start the next one of these, the next chassis out there. Hire a few more mechanics. Get it done. Fi hire a few more haulers. There we go. Keep stuff. Moving. Again, this is why you want the building right here. So they just come in here. It's pretty much as close as they can get to the production facility. There we go. We'll have our first, essentially what is supposed to be the Model T. Do they end up calling it this one, Type T. We're currently researching the Master B racing car. Over here, of course, there we go. The uh, research racing now. You know, if there was something about building enough racing cars or building a custom one or something to end the scenario, there's not. This is the scenario right here. I can certainly build more, get some more production lines going, make them a bit more complicated. This is it. You have seen the game here. And we're approaching 40 minutes on this video. So I think... Um, with what's here, there's enough to, for me to render an opinion. There is the makings of a good game here. Um, you know, production, sales, storage, research and development, all the kind of good things you need. Um, I'd like a bit more information about what's important for my different employees, other than the fairly obvious ones. Um, for the production lines, I'd be like... I like to be able to assign mechanics by either line and or station to have more control over that because um, getting that level of efficiency might be important. You might want to produce some of more cars and let some lines be slightly less efficient. Um, so the ads don't seem to matter that much at this point because as fast as I can produce them, people are buying them. Maybe there'll be something more with a bit more of the um, sales and economics. Um, currently, yes, you know, a, um, a staff room or something like that would be interesting. The research stations, well enough. Um, they're going to need to think of something to do with, you know, research points at the end there. Um, perhaps it could be at the end, you know, you could just... Or eventually you unlock the ability to just essentially have your research working on production efficiency. And depending on how much you put in research is the 
essentially the faster things operate in your factory or something, or else eventually you're just going to get rid of your R&D department um, because it's going to be no longer relevant. Um, and the final thing is there maybe needs to be something spicier to give this uh, longevity. Um, you know, different scenarios can help, but right now it's, you know, you put a line, cars come out of it. Um, there's not different machines, so there's not different types of stations. All the stations are the same. So there's nothing to, you know, configure. There's nothing like a, where if there's like an expensive station, could you run multiple lines through it? To, you know, be like, okay, this station does this, you know, and this, and I'm going to run multiple lines to it because it's a station that each car needs to go through like once to do something very specialized. But I, you know, it's an expensive station or it would be inefficient to have two separate lines have its own. So uh, maybe there could be something more there, something more about logistics and designing the factory. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that will be interesting, hoping that there will be something more than you know, each time you open up a game, it feels like, okay, I start with a line of this, unlock the next thing, build a line of that. Um, essentially, that's it. Um, so th th there needs to be something more, something, you know, that requires a bit more management, logistical skill to, to really bring this game up to the uh, next level. Um, but as it is, um, you know, it's early, it's a prototype, um, or, or not quite a prototype, but it's it's certainly, um, you know, a base level build. And it does the base level thing they're trying to do. Make cars, sell cars, research new cars to make and sell. That, that core is there. Um, it's a question of how much they can build on top of it and add to it and add nuance and interest make it a good game versus just something you know you click on a few times like i could hit this at fast speed walk away and it wouldn't matter i just keep making money um and i haven't worked that hard to get to this point um so unless they can add something more to give you that interest to replayability value um then I don't think this game is going to go very far. But again, still early. They still have time to make improvements. I'd like to see, you know, in several months, another build of it, see what they've added, see what more to make it, make it uh, more interesting. Um, this is still, you know, very much in development, but the, the, there's good skeleton here. So now it's time to see where the meat flesh uh, really come in. So I want to say thank you for joining me. Uh, for this look, uh, first look at Car Mechanic during the Steam Next Fest, and be seeing you.